We created this data source aviation statistics and to begin my power view report I just need to click on that link. And what that will do is launch the Silverlight based power view product and this is a browsing exploration and design environment all rolled into one so I can use this as an ad hoc query tool I can also use it to put together visuals that I'm going to deliver to others the design idea here is I have a canvas a surface that I can drop things on and organize and it's all very easy to use point and click uh, there's not that much configuration as we go through this so let's get started and our data model that we're using here is a database of all airline flights from 1988 until late 2011. I'm gonna work with one measure so in this flight table here I have one I have many measures but I'm just gonna work with one of them and that's the flight count so we're gonna look at how many flights that we've we've had and over that period of time we've had about 140 million or so I'm gonna add a title up here and we're just going to look at originating flights by major airlines. This report, I can resize it to make it fill the whole screen here and I know it's going to be a matrix because I'm going to do a cross tab, one of the most interesting kind of ways to look at things. When I clicked on that, my setup panel down here changed its shape a little bit so I can see my title values, row groups, column groups, and that allows me to structure my cross tab. So on my title I said by US Airlines so I have a table up here for the airlines it's called carrier and here I'm gonna take advantage of something PowerView has which is a graphic kind of a column type and as I drop that in there I'll get my list of airlines but in a an icon kind of a view so this has been set up in the data model that this field has a graphic and that's what displays but I did say I really just wanted the major airlines so what I'm going to do to accomplish that is click on this home tab here the filters area and I have a actually a column that identifies whether an airline is a major airline or not that's a pretty arbitrary selection so you'll forgive me if your favorite airline isn't here but that limits it to just the set and the next thing I want to do is the originating flights so that implies they're coming from somewhere so if I scroll down and find my origin airport it's going to take my airport code and put that on the column group and that gives me columns across so these are all the the flights by that airline over a fairly broad period of time and I'm actually not that interested in maybe every hub so let me give the user the ability to choose what hub they want and some of the magic that's behind the scenes is as I drag things to the filters you can see it's it's really affecting things automatically I'm not having to connect the dots here I just drag things in and the connections are automatically made so that will limit my airports to just the large hubs as as classified by the FAA and to make this a little more interesting I'm going to bring in the aircraft model that this airline was using so currently I have AirTrans selected so I can see AirTrans flights by by major hub and if I come down and find the airplane model that actually flew that flight and drag that into rows I'll get a kind of an interesting insight which airplane was AirTran flying for each of those flights and I'd like to see the airplane that blew the most flights on the top so if I just click this column header here I'll get a sort by that column and I want to go with the most number of flights on the top so I'll click it again so what that tells me is that AirTran over the period of 1988 to 2011 uh, flew more flights in the 717 than any other airplane now maybe I really don't want to look at so much history and if I don't want to I might want to filter that by the date so I'm gonna find the the year that's that's fine that's good enough and the year gives me this interesting slider so if I can slide this and maybe I'm only interested in 2008 to 2012 so 
that'll give me about four years of history. I've put together a pretty interesting view and it took what four minutes maybe to do that now this is a little bit hard to see I'm recording this at a fairly low resolution so that it works well on mobile devices but I can improve this for you a little bit by going to the home ribbon and clicking this full screen button now at least it'll be a little bit bigger and then we can play around with this a little bit so we're looking at large hubs major airlines a few years these are the airplanes that AirTran flew. You know, what about Southwest? They also fly only a small fleet of airplanes. One airline that flies a lot of different airplanes is American. So what happens if we click on that? Sure enough, we see a lot of different models of airplane flying here. And I can do the same for other air carriers as well and just see how many flights are they flying from each terminal over time. So that's a very basic PAR view report that we implemented in just a very short period of time. And really, while we were exploring the data and looking at it, we ended up with a really nice report that now we can reuse and distribute to others. And that's part of the power of this tool versus some others. And we'll look at a lot of the details and techniques as we go forward.